Hey everybody, this is Grace, and um, pardon the way I'm doing the video during the pandemic. I could have gone down to the park or something to give you a better scene, but uh, I don't know. I just didn't today. Woke up from a nap. It's 4.07 p.m. I woke up from a nap. <laughs> I'm like, I don't feel like it. Plus, yesterday, I, oh my goodness, my, my, I can't, I don't guess I can call him a puppy anymore, but was one of nicknamed Mayhem knocked me flat on my face. Yeah, he knocked me on my face. He's a he's uh, gonna be a year old next month. Very strong dog, runs real fast, got gets it too excited. It was like six thirty yesterday morning, six six thirty, somewhere around there. He came he was outside on the patio with Adam. He heard me he's hearing so well. And uh, he came charging through the house, and I went to grab what I used to try to train him. It's a towel. And, I mean, I'm just like, I'm talking, it was behind me, so I kind of twisted that way. When he, I don't remember the impact, but my next thing I know, my face was hitting the floor. I'm talking my face. Okay. He's knocked my legs right underneath from underneath me. And, uh, of course, you know, the pain doesn't, all the pains plural didn't come in right away but busted my lip and lips started bleeding I thought I was gonna lose my two front teeth and they're not too stiff and well they're, they're not bad I'm not gonna lose them and not they're not loose but yeah I hurt the gums and the lip right there and uh, I've got a, a big bruise and swollen on my I guess you call it the bridge of your nose these kind of terms I don't use. I'm 57. I haven't used or hurt or whatever in many, many years. And it's bruised, you know, like where the glasses sit. You know, the eye, if you wear glasses, where the things sit on your nose. And I wear glasses, so. Oh, my shoulders, my neck, uh, my upper arms, because in my left wrist is what took as much as the impact. And I think it, I think I kind of landed on the other one. Yeah, I, yeah. But anyway, and part of my legs, my hips, it, it's just a body ache all over. <laughs> the puppy is dangerous. We had to figure something else out, how to do it, and uh, how to have that puppy in the house. I, I grew up in the country, not in the country. I grew up in the city, but the country was right behind me, and people left their dogs outside except for when it's really bad weather. Dogs ran free, you know, within their yard kind of thing. But anyway, oh, my shoulders are hurting, so if you hear pops, it's because, oh, shoulders and necks. Now that I've said all that, a little bit of a <laughs> vlog there, I'm going to talk about a game. Now, if you're thinking I'm going to show the game and I'm going to name the game, I'm not. I just want to talk about it because I want to use it as an example, maybe in this video, another, in other videos, or whatever. And I had made a video about it. But lately, past few months, I've had a lot of trouble with technology, and I'm not going to go into all that, but um, it, I think it's one of those that got corrupted, and uh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't know. So it probably is, or which one I mentioned it in, who knows. Oh, it's, it was been a frustrating few months with all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, with technology, oh my goodness. Oh, unbelievable. But anyway, so let me get to that. Got through all that. And now, I don't remember when it was. It was sometime, I'm thinking sometime um, this year. And I'm pretty sure it must be this year. But anyway, I, I've, I've been what people call a gamer since long before there was the word gamer. <laughs> I had my first computer in 1982. Okay, 1982, and I had a computer, and then, I don't know which one, at the same time, and one that I played games on, okay, I mean, back in 1982, and I also played video, you know, computer games on, uh, who was my brother-in-law then, on his computer, too, married to one of my sisters, and, uh, so I've got a long history. <laughs> <laughs> and so I played a lot of games. I, I, li I like playing games, you know, whenever I have the free time. Or I, I've t lately more since there's that thing, you know, since there's been like iPads and cell phones. 
I can do a multitasking, like I'm listening to TV, but I'm playing a game on one of those or something. And, uh, but I, I like them. Yeah, let's just say that. I'm a gamer. Before, there was a term gamer. But, at least I think so. But there were gamers and different things back then. Yeah, anyway. Um, so I know, I have a really good clue on how games work across the years and how they've changed and all that. So, uh, and recently I found this game, like I was saying. And I've never heard of them before, anything, I don't think it's a part two. And anyway, it was, I started playing that game. And I'm like, there was one before and I was saying, this is for kids? I don't think so. And this one... It, it, they try to seem like they want to make it for kids, but it's more for adults. It's not the same company either. And both of them are. But I, I, yeah, I'm like a kid when I play games. <laughs> I'm interested in it for a while, but then if it's the same repetition kind of thing, say, ah, you know, there's got to be something new in the game. It just can't keep going on and on the same thing for me to like it, you know. You've got to have more to it than that. So anyway, <clears throat> this recent one, I'm like, something's just not right with this game. And you know, they had they were just I think it was new it was new. And so, you know, those of us using it were beta. <laughs> Doing beta beta testing practically. Um it's, a, it's you know, it's not a um it's a well done game except okay, except Okay. okay, except for this. Um, and this is where I'm going with this one. After playing the game, I was saying, okay, something's not right. There was a glitch, a glitch here, a glitch there. And, because, uh, you know, it was new. And uh, different possibilities and everything. And I guess it would be a, um, a game. I don't even know what they would call these because I never found that. I, I didn't, I never really liked them. I've seen them over many years. And I played them here and there, but just, I was saying, eh. Too much, you know. It's kind of like the a farm, you know. I think they I don't remember what they call farmers, or the, you grow stuff and everything. And anyway, this one was kind of like that. That uh, that's not like the main focus, um, but it has that included. And it, anyway, um, so you build stuff. I, I like the ones you build. I used to love playing online The Sims, um, Sim City, was it? Yeah, and I even had it for my computer years ago. In, in The Sims, I, I like those kinds of things, you know. Simulated cities. So, anyway, this. so I'm playing this one and everything, and I'm saying, what is this that's wrong with it? What What is, it's like, the way I felt is they're extremely aggressive. The people who made this video, they're aggressive. And I'm thinking, in my view, I could be wrong. They're aggressive in trying to get people to buy stuff, so they programmed it in such a harsh way to um, take from the player. Really, you know, like like if you build a, a city, you have to go and buy something to build and everything, um, or to do or to make stuff or whatever. And you go to a store in the game. You know, you go to a store. They either wouldn't show what you need in the store, or uh, when you would go in to get it to pay for it, they the computer would zap it away. So some like somebody else got it right then, right there, right then and there, over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see, I see patterns. Okay, I see you know these patterns. I'm like, oh yeah, the, the game is very aggressive like that. So yeah, and they you know they have options you can pay for, you know, uh, to get more of these or get more of those. You know, I, I don't, I haven't really checked into all that because I want to see how a game is. I, I've never, I've never paid for one. If I, if I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy it to where I put it on my computer. Not, I've never paid for one for on my cell phone, but I hardly ever do uh, games on my cell phone or iPad. So. All right, I had a pause there, Adam and the puppy got back home. They went to the store, little store and came back convenience store. Well, we always call them little stores. But anyway, um, so I, I, you know, 
kept playing the game and I was getting like, wow, you know, the last one, the one before that I played, I was like, they uh, focus, you know, on kids, but this is an adult game because the contents of the game, contents of what was written and everything in the game, whoo, and uh, then I heard, they have a um, Facebook page on the other one. And somebody, a woman had written that she spent a lot of money because she liked the storyline in the game. And that she was going to quit because it just got too expensive. And that, that's, some, that's a focus of mine is how expensive they make these games, too. Just to get a little bit, it's very expensive. And it would add up quickly if a person was hooked on it that bad. And yes, I understand that people like, you can say people like you who don't pay for any of it. But I get the impression that what, what you see is what you get. So any time you're going to be playing a game and you're going to be paying, but every time they're going to, if there's going to be another glitch, another glitch, another not a glitch, but another way they get more money from you, more and more and more and more. So uh -uh. you know, and I'm sure people are going to see it opposite if they're the game, you know, people who make games or whatever, apps or anything, we see it a different way. So I'm looking at the perspective of this user, not all users, but this user, and uh, that's why I, I lose faith in this, because if they're so aggressive in it, why do I want to pay for something that somebody's going to be that aggressive, gimme, 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 you know, but anyway, like, like I'm saying, this game is unbelievably, I mean, it's, it's, it's as though you can sit there and feel another person on the other side and <laughs> we know there's not um, it's, in, it's the game they've already made it but like as if somebody's watching and say I'm going to take that from you I'm going to make sure you don't do this I'm going to make sure you know it, at every turn every corner this new one new game every t twist and turn they're going to take make it more difficult more difficult and uh, so you so you buy they'll give you a little bit a little bit here but very seldom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my degrees are in psychology and sociology, by the way. So, and I, like I said, I had my first computer in 1982. So, things that are online have been my focus, of course. One of my focuses, of course, over all these years is because, yeah, you know, they, they focus on how, basically, how people are being used. People are being drawn in. Um, use and abuse is what we used to call it back then um, and you know this kind of thing but anyway so there, then there's more to this game that I today really I, I kind of realized it's not like an aha moment really because you know things for some people maybe it is it would be but I could say oh, aha suddenly but no it was kind of building up and uh, or while playing the game, but basically, the, the game is at the same time it's, it's so aggressive, but at the same time, it has the same thing like you know, like when you build something, say you're building a store, okay, and you, you're making your store this is not about stores, but I'm just using that as an example. You say you build, you know, you build a store and you have a store, you're a grocer, or you want to build whatever. So you kind of stock up on this and stock up on that, you know, and sometimes you're low on something and, uh, you know, as customers buy, then you have to order more and all that. And we're talking like in real life, you have a store. Well, what this game does is say, uh, some, you know, a customer who's really aggressive and really mean and really, you know, just wants to just not make your day, comes in and always wants you to order always wants to buy things you're out of or you're low on and they want more than what you're low on and more than what you have already and they get aggressive about it. they want they want they want <laughs> you see what I'm saying and it's only what you're out of it's not what you have stocked up they don't want that they want what you're out of or you're very low on and they want more than you have now if you had a, a customer a, a real customer, a real store, or whatever, and that was constantly their uh, their thing. When you kind of say, "Hmm, I don't know if maybe I should say," you know, we had the right to uh, not give you service. <laughs> Somebody who's always wanting to be demanding and controlling and 
that you must do this, you must do that. And that's why I say this, this game is kind of like that. It's like very aggressive in that kind of way. <laughs> and like I said, I played all these games over, you know, all this time. I'm not going to say like, act like that's all I ever do. Uh, no, that would not be true, but, uh, but I've played, you know, gotten interested in the game here, and, you know, a while later, another game, or I stopped that one, you know, just to see what's out there kind of thing. I remember when games were all text, like games online, like Mutants, I think it was, and, uh, Swords of Chaos, I think, and it was all you had to read and, you know, figure out and it was so sometimes that was so much interesting than it is today really now another kind of game I like I like to do use this example is spades I've been playing the card game spades since I was barely old enough to hold cards in my hand really but but of course you know once it became on came online I found one and I had to go to different ones over years because they put down or whatever so you know but anyway, uh, I played them since for many years. And that's my games. I play hearts too, but I'm not that into hearts. Never had, was in that game, that Corey game. But spades was the thing, and it is. I like to play spades, but every blue moon, you know. And, uh, anyway, this this thing, this game, yeah. Okay. So so once you know today, I kind of fi finally said, hmm, yeah, that's all it does, and that that makes it the game, you know. But everything is whatever you don't have. They, that's what it wants, kind of along this line. And you can't plan ahead like a person would, uh, like people do. Just plan ahead and you know try to f work things out or work whatever. No, it's not gonna. Let, it's just whatever you don't have. Okay. And you're gonna spend more time on it. You're gonna you know and maybe possibly more money. <laughs> I haven't spent any money on it. I'm not going to. That aggressive, no. Like I say, I don't play, spend money on games. Um, mm -mm. Yeah. But anyway, I have over the years, but no. Um, but it makes me think of, you know, what actually happens in life. And it can happen in life. That somebody is, you know, people are always, you know, some people. Never, always, never, all, never, nothing. I'm not one of those kinds of thinkers. Uh, you know, everything black or white, all or nothing, always, you know, that kind of thing. But it makes me think, you know, how some people are just, they, they find what, um, what you're lacking in right now, and they exploit it to act domineering and controlling and so forth. Or and so, for some of them, what they do is to say, you know, here, you know, they want to show everybody your weakness. They want to show your weakness and, you know, point out your flaws and, and make sure that they say these are weaknesses and these are flaws. And, uh, and that's how the game is. And you can feel it. I mean, I mean, all these years I've never felt that. All these years. I mean, I've seen games, okay, they're trying to get money, do this, get in, paid some money for that. But this is aggressive. I'm trying to point out that it's very different. 30, 40 years, you know, 38 years. <laughs> yeah. But may, my, I've made, I say, you know, since 1990, I'll say 30 years, because that's when I first got on something that you consider, you know, people would consider uh, social media. Of course, it's changed a lot over the time. Over time, but and you could, then back then you could see more games online. Before that, it was rather different. But anyway, it's always been rather different. Always change. All these years, things have changed. So, can't even compare. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I might make videos on you know more on that topic. I have in the past. So, <laughs> on you know, be, people's behavior when they want to, you know. Like I just said, point out your flaws, show your weaknesses, and not sometimes it's just themselves so they can tell you that, but sometimes it's they want to do it to others. They want to show others that, and when it's just temporary, it's just you have other things you're focused on. You're not focusing on that right now, you know. And you just you shouldn't have to defend yourself, but they will set that up, set it up to 
um, to make sure you have to defend yourself or you, you look weak. But, you know, then, like I said, I'll make videos on that. Maybe. We'll see. If it doesn't get corrupted. <laughs> anyway, enough on this for now. I'll talk to you on another video.